Oh, there's a problem with Alex Laughlin. This isn't good. They're backing him up. He will not beat Bo Butner this time. And Bo Butner, who won two races over a 24-race span in 2018, will have two race wins in the first three events of 2019. It will be a non, uh, let's see, climactic final in Pro Stock here for the Golden Wally at the 50th Gator Nationals. But for Bo Butner, it'll be sweet, sweet victory. Well, keep an eye on Bo Butner's run because this run will tell you how much hurt that Alex Laughlin will be feeling. Butner pulls the car into fifth gear and goes 6.505 at 212.29 miles an hour. They had it loaded up. The woman you see with the cap on there, Randy Lynn Ship, is Bo Butner's better half, and she won stock eliminator here this weekend. So it is a, a, uh, a family sweep, if you will, at the Gator Nationals. An incredible run for both Bo Butner and for Randy Lynn. This is a rematch of the final round from Houston in 2018. Rather, the final round from St. Louis in 2018, where Robert Hyde had that incredible crash past the finish line, but won the race. Wilkerson was the runner-up. It is the 400th round of nitro-powered competition in Tim Wilkerson's career, and he is on a current 69-race win drought. It would end in an avalanche or in a flood of success if he's able to grab a golden wally here at the end of the racetrack. Robert Height, his success this season has been scary good. Robert Height's in. Here comes Wilk. Here we go. And Wilk smokes the tire, so Robert Height continues to be the dominant car in the Nitro Funny Car category in 2019. The crowd reacts here in Gainesville as Height goes 3.867 seconds at 331 miles per hour. Yeah, you know, the car was there all weekend. You have to give a lot of credit to Robert Height because he fell asleep a couple of weeks ago in Phoenix at a very crucial moment in the semifinals that did not happen here. He was good in qualifying, even better on race day, and it showed. Brian, no one would have guessed that these two cars would have been at the in the final round of this major event, but they've both earned their way here. And the interesting thing is Clay Milliken, the story of this team, I think a lot of people were wondering, well, who's going to win a race first? Brittany Force, because that's where the tuner for Clay from last year went. Was it going to be Mike Salinas, who now has Alan Johnson? Here he is in the final round. And, and the people that work on this car, it's just like an island of misfit toys that are working on this car, but they have the tuner that uh, was formerly with Coletta. So there's a lot of degrees of separation here, but here he is in the final. What he did in the second round makes him a heavy contender in this final. Mike Lober and Clay Milliken in their former lives came occasionally to race at NHRA. They never won an event in multiple attempts. If they win this event as a 2-0, it will be the crowning achievement of their top fuel lives. Clay Milliken is second to stage. The final pair is gone. Down the drain strip they go, header flames up, and it's Richie Crampton on a hole shot. 3.769 seconds at 323 miles an hour. An incredible drag race ends on an incredible top fuel final.